Hello, in this edit I'm going to show you how to add Superman or any object to a 3D photo that was a portrait photo that was taken on an iPhone 8 plus so that you can create a Facebook 3D photo. So here I have the scenery of some leaves and it's a portrait photo as you can see and this is the photo of Superman that I want to combine with it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to the depth cam app. I'm going to click on the bottom left the two rectangles and I'm going to choose the 3D photo which as you can see has some depth to it and here I'm going to go to the bottom right icon and export this grayscale depth map. So I'm going to say save depth map and then I'm going to close this app. Now I'm going to open up the app Superimpose X which is my favorite editing tool on the iPhone. And in this I'm going to first of all open up the background photo. As you can see it's uh, 3024 by 4032. It's uh, regular size I just say choose and I click on layers and I go to add layer I click on photo layer and I'll choose Superman and I say choose so now he has been added to the picture I'll click on transform and resize it to the position where I think it, it will look nice maybe something like that uh, smaller in size and uh, leave it there next I'm going to layers add layer photo layer and I'm going to import the 3d depth map that was created and say choose transform fit to base. So now the depth map of the 3D scene exactly matches the background. If I click on my layers I have three layers here. The depth map, uh, Superman and uh, the original trees below. I'm going to the depth map and I'm going to click on that and say duplicate layer. So I made an extra copy of the depth map. Now I'm going to slide the previous depth map below and immediately below the depth map I have the Superman image there. So what I want to do is I want to create a depth map for Superman. In other words, he should also be in grayscale. And as you can see from the depth map here, the darkest colors are what is closest to you. So you want to get a sort of shading happening on Superman, where the dark colors will be near you and the light colors are going to be further away. So what I'm going to do with this depth map is I'm going to transform, blend and reduce the opacity slightly. So you can see Superman vaguely through that. And next I'm going to transform and I'm going to flip the depth map so that the dark areas are what is closest to you. So I want Superman to be close to me. So I want a dark gray color there. I'm going to flip my 
because the really dark places which is closest to me is on the left side I wanted to actually show on the right side so I'm going to flip and move the depth map around and I'm going to choose some shades that are not too dark because what happens I have found is that if the depth map has too much contrast with the background if it's a really dark black in front of a white there will be artifacts in the 3d image that's created so I'm going to choose shades of gray and maybe something like this which looks okay and I'm going to uh, mask and clip up what that will do is it will take the outline of Superman and cut out the grayscale map on front with uh, it'll it'll cut that out in that outline so clip up so what I've got now is Superman and I'm going to transform blend and increase the opacity so that it's just a grayscale so I've created a grayscale uh, depth map of Superman so I'm going to the top second to the top left arrow and go save blended image JPEG high quality and save so I've saved the depth map next I'm going to layers bring Superman on top bring the scenery like that and then I'm going this combined image I'm going to save blended image HQ save so now I'm done with superimpose and I'm going to open up my depth cam I'll, I'll show you my camera roll so at this point I have both a grayscale a depth map for the Superman in front of the trees as well as the photograph itself Superman in front of the trees so what I'm going to do is open up the depth cam app and I'm going to click on the camera on the top left I'm going to click on the two rectangles on the bottom left I'm going to choose the image which is the combined flat image I created I'm going to import depth map choose import depth map once again and click on the camera roll and choose this combined depth map so now we have a, a, soup, a combined scene on top and its depth map below and now I can click on the down air save arrow on the bottom right and say save Facebook 3d photo it says photo saved so if that worked out we can try with opening Facebook oh okay so I have to turn off my airplane airplane mode which I had turned on to avoid distraction while recording I'll click on what's on your mind 3d photo and here you can see the Superman photo and as you can see now it's been loaded up with uh, 3d perspective so that's how you would use superimpose X and depth cam to kind of create your own uh, subject and give it depth